So do you have any data on the safety of, of the jabs with pregnancy and fertility, you know, that you know, stillbirth, that kind of thing? Yes, we do. There's a lot of controversy around this. And um, again, without, I can't go into too many details because it, yeah, involves sort of particular people promoting particular messages. But there has been, um, we've seen quite a lot of data which um, suggests that there there is a problem, that, that there is a um, increased risk of, of poor outcomes for um, pregnant women uh, who are vaccinated. But the problem is that a message has gone out, the, the narrative has gone out of the exact opposite, that now they're actually recommending that pregnant women are those who should be prioritised for, for the booster, for example. It's, there's been quite a big uh, government um, push on this. And it's all to do, again, with misinterpretation of the, the statistical results that you get from this. So the claim, which is being made by those people who've created this narrative that, that pregnant women need to get, especially need to get, um, need to get boosted, is that their outcomes will be better in terms of uh, them less likely to have stillbirth, for example, than the, than the unvaccinated. Now, how does this, how does this come about? It's a simple misinterpretation, it's a classic misinterpretation of data. It's called not taking account of, survi of what we call survivor bias. Right, most um, most pregnancies, most um, uh, um, term, most termination pregnancies happen very early in the pregnancy, mm. not late on, right? And mm. so, if you, um, if for example, you 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 get your vaccination you know, shortly up, sometime into your pregnancy. Um, You've already survived. If you're if you're only counting that, you're, you've already survived the most yeah. dangerous part of the pregnancy. So yeah. it's things like this, very simple things like this. The survivor bias not taken account of, um, which are leading to again. You can reverse. You get these reverse results. You reverse these results as soon as you take account of survivor bias. So and, as a, just as an example there. So most most problems happen in the first trimester. Exactly. And what you're saying is, if someone is vaccinated in the second or the third trimester it's not yeah. taking that survivor bias into account exactly they're, 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 they're so um yeah so if you if you don't take that into account it will look like those who are vaccinated have um a, a, a less likely oh, sorry are more likely to have a successful um outcome to pregnancy than those who aren't okay. thanks for watching the radical health rebel youtube channel if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to share with your friends and family or share via your social media. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications of new video clips from the podcast. And if you want to watch the full episode, completely ad free plus premium content and join the Radical Health Rebel Patreon community, head on over to the Radical Health Rebel Patreon channel at www.patreon.com forward slash Radical Health Rebel. Thanks again for watching.